Hey, what's up? Marty here. I'm going to teach you Man Who Sold the World, um, based off of the, the Nirvana version. Uh, it's another one of those tunes where the guitar is all tuned down a half step, so I'm going to teach it to you the way they're playing it. But if you want to match it up to the recording, spend a little time and learn how to tune each of your strings down one half step. So instead of an E, it's an E flat, A flat, and so forth and so on. Let's get right into that little lick. I'm going to put my first finger on the second fret of the G string, and I'm going to hit it twice, like that. And then a third time, and then open. So one, two, three, four. Then I'm going to hit it and slide it. Check it out. Then open. So watch. Okay, so the chords that we're going to need, um, we're going to need an A major, and we're going to need a D minor, but don't be confused if I put my pinky right there instead of my ring finger, it's just a little habit I have. Okay, so we have A, D minor, we need an F, sorry people, and we need a C. Um, and C, we can also play as a power chord, and the Kurt Cobain way of playing a power chord would be these two fingers and that. And you might want, we might want to play C and F. Kurt Cobain was playing it as, as just the double power chord thing. For C and for F, he was playing this, which would be those. So we can do it that way, too. That's going to be up to you, because then this is a C chord, and if you move a chord, like if this is C and this is D, and this in between we're going to call C sharp. Just a power chord. Like that. The E strings being muted by my first finger. So you're only hearing that. And you can do that with F. He does it on Smells Like Teen Spirit. Like that kind of thing. Okay? So that's what we need. Now the rhythm I'm going to start with the A, because that's the first chord. It's a rhythm for the whole, basically the whole thing. Down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. So the rhythm is... Down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. And it's going to start on A. To D minor. A again, but F now instead of D minor, to C, now it's going to, the rhythm's going to change a little bit just for this next little part, but check it out, here's what we have so far. cut short there. So we're gonna the best way to think of it is just six down strums on A and then right back to D minor. So watch um three, four, five, six. A long, long time ago. Three, four, three, two, three, four, four, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. forth and so on right back into it again so let me um, 
kind of walk you through all those sections, especially without the singing, it's a little it can be a little more confusing. So it basically goes like this from the A chord, one, two, three, four, five, six, D minor, normal. Just like that. And then we're gonna go, I think it'll be easiest for you to go to that C power chord. And we can go just one and two and three and four and and it's gonna do that like this. One and two and three and four and two and two and three and four and three and two and three and four and because there's a couple of them before the singing comes in, then the F power chord. Two and three and four and then C sharp. Second time, now it's repeated, it's just a little bit shorter because the singing's right away. Three and four and two and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and then the C sharp again. One, two, three, into the line. So it's got D minor and A over that. So let's check out that. Um, I'll play through it one more time because we have time. So just from the line one time. Here we go. To the A. A. We're going to go to D minor next. A again. We're going to F next, then C, now A for six drums, five, six, one, D minor, now we're going to go to C, one and two and three and four and two and two and three and four and three and two and three and four and F and two and three and C sharp, back to That should get you going. Um, that's it. That's you know. There's you know a solo. Uh, if you see uh, the Nirvana Unplugged version, it's it's pretty cool actually because he he goes for a solo and he hits the wrong note by accident and kind of slides into it. So check that out. You'll you'll see that. Um, also on YouTube, uh, you've probably seen it if you're looking at this video that there's a cool rehearsal rehearsal footage of them practicing the song. That's always really interesting to see how bands work their stuff out. Uh, yeah, so keep the requests coming, and, and hopefully that was good enough for you. Love you. Take care. Thank you. Bye, you guys.